Born and bred in Namibia, Dr. Philip Stander has been living in the desert for more than 25 years. When it comes to conservation, the Skeleton Coast Park in the Kunene region is his playground, and this is the only place in the world where desert lions are found. Dr. Stander says the lions were on the brink of extinction due to human-wildlife conflict. He, however, discovered a small pride that survived and managed to document the lion's adaptation to the harsh environment. I worked a lot at involving the tourism communities and basically uplifting the value of lions for tourism but then also working really closely with the local communities to try and mitigate those conflicts. And I mean, some of the conflicts at times were really quite intense. You know, people lost a lot of livestock and people got really angry with the government and with, you know, conservation. But somehow we managed to, to hold a good relationship and, and to, to work towards finding a solution to their problems, but also ensuring that we still maintain this really unique lion population. The experts stressed that, although the population of desert lions is between 50 and 80, the wild animals attract tourists from all over the world. Dr. Stander developed an early warning system which mitigates conflict between the communities and the lions. And if we can look at after our wildlife and after our natural places, it will provide such stability within the country. It is also usually profitable from a tourism point of view. The world is going into a, into a traveling, you know, sort of global economy, a global population, and we have things to offer that no other country has. It's got space, it's got unique wildlife like lions on the beach that you can see nowhere else. And the future lies in the young people. And, but I call on them to, to look into wildlife and to look into nature. There's a big future for all of us there. The scientist is based at Move Bay, which is 360 kilometers from Henty's Bay. Dr. Stander is working hard to turn his house into a desert lion research center for the country. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Move Bay.